The Limestone District School Board and Bay Ridge Secondary School are situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee. We acknowledge their enduring presence on this land, as well as the presence of Métis, Inuit, and other First Nations from across Turtle Island. We honor their cultures and celebrate their commitment to this land. I am thrilled to be able to address the Bay Ridge class of 2020 today. You are a special group of students in so many ways. Your grade 12 year has been especially difficult and you have consistently risen to these challenges. The staff and I will cherish our fond memories of your class from each of your years at Bay Ridge. From grade nine through to grade 12, you have had an impressive and lasting impact on our school, on our staff and on each other. As you consider your accomplishments throughout your high school career and look to your future path, whatever and wherever that may be, please continue to live by our rock philosophy. My hope for you is that these core values of respect, optimism, courage, and kindness be your guiding compass, grounding you in whatever you do. And as you move forward in life blazers, be a leader for positive change, a leader for equity, a leader for inclusion, a leader for your community. And finally, don't forget to give back to your community. Celebrate and be grateful for all the good in your community and in your life. Congratulations to the Bay Ridge Class of 2020. You rock. Graduation is a milestone. While it marks the culmination of your secondary school studies, it is so much more than a diploma. It is a symbolic milestone of moving from childhood to adulthood. The pandemic has our world in crisis, but you, our students, will come out stronger. It is our graduates, our young people, who have demonstrated your resilience and responsibility to lead the way. I know that you will be change makers who will help us move forward in a positive and constructive way, leading to great things. This may not be how you expected to end your high school career, but we hope it will still be memorable. I am incredibly proud of you graduates. Today, we celebrate your personal successes, your significant commitment to your education, your desire to achieve, your hope for a bright future. Graduates, your schools, your families, and I have endless hope for you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020.
Hello, graduates. To commence this, I'd like to thank all of you, Blazers, for giving me the honor to represent you during this unconventional ceremony. I'd like to thank our principals for their leadership and also being the scariest thing in the morning when I walk in the doors at 8.31 a.m. I'd like to thank the faculty for their wisdom and care for us, even if that care was kind of crazy. I'm looking at you, Miss Scarlett. Thank you to our parents for the endless support and the last minute signatures. But most importantly, I'd like to thank you, the graduates of 2020. This year has posed countless challenges on all of us, and trying to write something that reflected that was challenging. Four years ago, if I knew that I could graduate without having to wear pants, I would have said that sounds pretty amazing. But I also thought I could do bangs, and I can assure you, I can't. We never saw graduation as something that would ever come. Four years seemed like such a long time, but we soon realized that high school is just as short as Miss Eccles, and that we were about to begin a new chapter in our lives. However, I'm not here to talk about that next chapter, rather to appreciate the one that comes to a close. If high school's taught me anything, it's that impaling your friend's foot with a javelin just brings you closer as friends, and that change is inevitable. Yet it is that change that has granted us countless opportunities to foster new friendships, memories, and skills. In the process, we gained confidence as individuals, and in the case of Grace, so confident that she was never afraid to speak, or more accurately yell, her cries of confusion and calculus. But sometimes that change hurt, and over the course of four years, all of our worlds have been turned upside down, as we lost some of the most important things and people in our lives. But I urge you to take a moment. Take a moment to appreciate the time that you had not only with those who are not with us, but everyone else here. It is easy to look back on things with envy and regret, but I implore you to appreciate the things that you had and have in this very moment. We've grown together as a family, and I'm so honored to be part of a class that is so caring and genuine. And although our chapter in high school comes to a close, our chapter as a family has only just begun. I ask only three things. First, that you strive to genuinely impact and change others' lives. It is my humble opinion that that is the most respectable and greatest accomplishment anyone can achieve. Second, that you don't let a few months define the past. And third, and most importantly, I hope that you will always be proud to call yourself a blazer. Congratulations, graduates. Time, a simple concept that intertwines the complexities of our adolescent years. From the first time we sat our eager selves into the uncomfortable comfort of uncertainty and those plastic chairs in our first class of grade nine, to the time we lost scouring the depths of the halls searching for our first lockers, we are all unified by these moments of time coated in orange and blue. Time it is the greatest gift marriage has given to any of us. The times the hallways echoed with endless laughter to the exchanges of love when the days felt like there just wasn't enough time. It is the time Barrage has taken for our class that we take with us as we go. And it is indeed now time for us to go. For many, the time for this couldn't have come sooner. For others, halting time's progression would have been appreciated. And for some, there just wasn't enough time. The movement of moving on is never one that comes with ease. Our feet guiding us on ambiguous paths towards our futures, our futures without one another. But it's the relief of reminiscing that we carry in our souls, a nostalgic recollection of our time together. And now, here we are, one last time, sharing a moment of sublime achievement from each and every one of us, a graduation unlike any amongst time. For we are now grade 12s, where did the time go? We are now those monsters that plagued our anxiety-induced first days of high school. We are now grade 12s, and we are now ready to go. 
So as we depart and say our final farewells, it is true what they say, time makes a fool of us all. But we didn't know it then, but we were given the time of our lives. So thank you, Bay Ridge. Thank you for the time. Thank you to the class of 2020. You have left a positive mark on our school. Continue to be great, continue to be blazers, continue to rock. Congratulations. <laughs>